Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a little bit more Stellaris as the Silence, and uh, this is not where we last left off. In fact, it is some 20 or so odd minutes after, but um, my computer blue screened, uh, and I, I have a very good inclination as to why it might do such a thing. Um, I had a bunch of tasks running in the background. I had like three instances of Sony Vegas open editing videos, and it's just, it's not pretty, right? <laughs> the production process is not very pretty, but we get the job done half of the time at least. Uh, but basically what I've done is I've ordered some reinforcements for these uh, fleets, a little bit for each and every one of them. Uh, I've managed to retake this, so you have a, an idea of how long uh, that took. These guys, as long as I keep a fleet here, have been extraordinarily passive so far. Realistically, can they beat this? Oh, I don't know, man. It's, I mean, it's 5.5k. They should have around 4 in total if they don't go around and start harassing me over here, which you, know, you never know. Um, but yeah, like 3 there, maybe 1 or something um, up here two maybe. Uh, there is a 1k fleet over here. I'm trying to... I just fought a fleet there, a small one. I'm gonna go up here now. I can't breach past this because it's 5.5k, but that's basically the war situation. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna do a few research projects here. Uh, I've also, with some very clever market manipulation, uh, managed to buy myself a little bit of food load of alloys, went back and forth with all this stuff. Um, unfortunately, I can't sell the consumer goods, but hey. Uh, and I managed to get, uh, well, start the recolonization process on both these planets, so... Yeah, it'll hinder us quite a bit, but uh, I think, given the fact that we're just about to end this war, uh, and move on to the next one, which is going to be fighting these guys again, which should be considerably easier. I, I have to check. Yeah, right, so this rock people fleet, whatever it is, it's not a part of their uh, actual faction and whatnot. These guys uh, have, a, have a terrible fleet of just like 1k or something along those lines, maybe another one of the same size, but that's it. So, yeah. Establishing Obviously, at a time like this, we are heavily, heavily um, over the capacity limit for our navy, but we have to be. I mean, you know, it's been said time and time again that the whole capacity thing is honestly more of a suggestion than, uh, than a hard cap. And... Well, the economy would disagree, but sod the economy, who cares, right? That's uh, <laughs> only partially true. I think we should status quo at this point. Because there's nothing else I can grab. I mean, I, maybe I would have been able to grab, like, one more province here, but it's, it's not worth it, honestly. Uh, so... Let's see, do these planets need some help with administration or anything? No. This planet needs more, well, either more provinces or more, uh, oh yeah, definitely gonna need, gonna need to clear that out, okay. Cool, so now we take Honestly, I think two of the of the of the three fleets is gonna do it. So we take two of the three fleets, we send them over here, and we get ready to expand southwards, and thus, perhaps, just maybe, finally, um, restore a little bit of dignity to what is supposed to be one of the most dangerous uh, empire formats in the entire game, um, you know, perhaps we restore a little bit of dignity, you never know, but, oh hell, we can try, right? 
I have a ton of influence. I need more energy. Let's go and grab that. There's also a planet there which I might be willing to take over depending on the... Oh, yeah, never mind. Alright, excuse me, I'm going to your... Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, God, the sleeping schedule recently has been tragically bad, but don't tell anyone I told you. It's, it's truly just beyond tragically bad, if I'm honest. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. I'm going to dismantle it. This I'm going to keep. This I don't need. I'm going to dismantle it. Not because it's not useful. It is. But I'm, I'm bleeding energy, so... I mean, I'm obviously going to bleed energy. I've, I'm over naval capacity. My Empire Sprawl is out of control, too, so... You know, th those are things that need sorting, but... Those are things that will be sorted very soon. Matter of fact... With this very next war against an Empire that nobody likes. Uh... And there's even these guys that are going to be joining in the fight. I just need to figure out how long it's going to take, oh, whatever, you lot to, to reach your, your destination. Not that long. Okay. Question. I now have cruisers, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, I haven't exactly come up with a name for the cruisers. How about a... I mean, some of the jokes just write themselves, right? How about that, eh? And then mix some railguns and lasers there, and... Let's do one extra shield. All of that there, and there we go. Is there anything here I want? Not really. So, it's not particularly fancy, but it is a cruiser. And now, we ought to go to the ship designer and add a bunch of them to our navies. Actually, that said, is there a different f kind of cruiser I would like, maybe? Not right now. Not right now. Um, so let's keep going like that. Uh, oh, also, I, I think some of you might not realize just how flat this map is. That's kind of funny, isn't it? I mean, I know most people play the game like this, and that's all fine and well. I play the game like this, um, but just, just like sort of, you know, a little bit of a fun fact: you can move the map around, and you can sort of look at it like that, and it's incredibly flat. I'm just saying, coincidence? I think not. No, I'm kidding. But uh, it's it's mildly amusing, anyways. Uh, Mineral purification. Ooh. Lovely. Uh, I mean, mineral's not the most important thing for us currently, but... Sure. Alright. You're on your way. You're on your way. So, very soon. Very, very soon, hopefully. We'll be in position for another fight, and these guys should also look at me with a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of, uh, a little bit more fear and dread in their eyes, I'm kidding, no, just, I'm, I'm nowhere near at that point yet, but, well, you know, at one point soon, maybe, who knows, 
Uh, do we need anything here? Not really. Uh, I mean, we need a bunch of stuff, but mostly it's all just workers that, that we need. So, yeah. Um, there's some serious economic problems here, though, is, is the thing. Yeah. Uh, serious, serious economic problems, uh, which I will need to address very soon. Debris has been analyzed. Yeah. Debris has been analyzed. I gotta say, there's nothing that can that can save this situation economically speaking, other than just straight up conquest. Like we're losing we're bleeding energy, we're losing food. Um, we're colonizing planets, that's not helping, but we have a bunch of, of slots that need filling with workers. All of that is, is not ideal, but here's the, the main problem. I have no way of sorting any of these things out in the, in the near future. I'm, I mean, alloy production has decreased drastically. I'm hoping that that's just the... It, I mean, is it? I don't know. I was going to say, I'm hoping that's just the game figuring out a way to fix my economic woes, but somehow I don't think that's entirely the reason why I'm experiencing these problems. It may be, though. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's really not that good. Why am I... Was it, um, was it an edict I did? Capacity overload, nutritional plentitude, fortify the borders. Uh, well, let's do, let's do, whoops, let's do capacity subsidies because it'll increase the upkeep, but they'll output 50% more, which should help the entire situation, I suppose. And then improve energy something rather does not count as uh, an edict cap kind of thing, so that that should be good. And then these are pretty useless. These are all just boosters for ships. Nanite actuators are actually not bad, but I don't have a way of generating more nanites. But I don't think I need the nanites for anything else. So yeah, let's let's do that. Booster research a little bit because we are kind of behind compared to everyone else around us. Not though, not by much. Um, and yeah, see there you go. The the difference is just staggering. We've doubled our energy output, uh, and we're about to increase it even more as soon as these planets get colonized. But yeah, uh, and increase it furthermore when. Uh, we conquer a whole bunch of new stuff, but that's for later. Monthly influence and available envoys. Um, I like genetic modification, and I like synapse clusters, but I'm going to start using a lot of that influence that, uh, that I'm generating now via edicts and stuff, and I would like to be able to keep up these edicts, uh, well, specifically to keep this one going, Perpetually, basically, just renew it as soon as it expires, and uh, that is going to require quite a bit of influence, so, yeah. Um, I think we can declare war as soon as this... As soon as, like, each and each of these fleets arrives where it needs to be. Because I don't see anything that the enemy can do to stop... Yeah, you gotta remember, this isn't their fleet. That's 4K is scary, but it's not their fleet that's scary, so yeah. Alright, there we go. And declare war. Hunger. Boom. Alright, so I'm not sure what this is. These are just space amoeba, alright. Not a problem then. Um, what 
why are there two shipyards here? That's wasteful. Okay, let's get some reinforcements for this. Flay's going to be probably doing the bulk of the fighting, and I've completely neglected the fact that there is a miniature little fleet there, but we'll get to them in a second. Now, honestly, I doubt they'll, they'll be able to take out a, a regular just station like that, but you know, in case they are. There we go. And gone. And gone. Okay. You're now going to go and pick a fight with that lot. And you are going to start heading that way, securing more land, territory, living spaces, slaves, food, and so on and so forth for our uh, glorious empire. Um, you know, with just a little bit of murder and uh, mayhem. I can't make the joke because YouTube's going to be mad at me. I was going to say the G word that ends with enocide. Um, and I think, oddly enough, because it's just an algorithm, I can say it like that. So, yeah. With just a little, just a little bit of uh, G word will turn into peace, prosperity, and... Uh, Stability for my new galactic empire. See, it was all just a elaborate Star Wars joke, but I'll be damned if it wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay, I am losing my mind, and I'm just actually just in full-on banter mode at this point because, um, yeah, I've I've been sleeping terribly. Um, I've been sleeping at random intervals for random amounts of time. Uh, and when I say random, I mean that sometimes I'll fall asleep at like 5 p.m., sometimes it'll be 5 a.m. over the last few days. And as a result, I've been just perpetually sleepy through the entire day, but can really actually genuinely sleep for, uh, for all that long. So, yeah. Um, why am I saying all of this? Because you, you, you're suffering the, the consequences of that. You know. <laughs> One way or another, you are suffering the consequences of my inability to function as a regular, well, relatively normal adult. Eh? Now, what's over here? Do they have anything? They have nothing. I mean, you know, I had to fight two difficult wars, and I'll be honest, they were infuriating. They made me want to not play the game. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it. They were uh, they were probably the most unpleasant and infuriating wars I've had in this game for the last I don't know several years. With that said, the situation has how do I remove what? Oh. Mildly amusing. Okay, go and remove the malfunctioning implant. Whatever that is. Okay, I need you to secure that planet. Uh, you need you to grab more of that. Beautiful. I mean, just just beautiful. See, this is this is how all wars should be. Very straightforward, simple. Go take fight. Easy. No back and forth, no annoying micro-management, no... none of that. Just, you know, simple, straightforward murder, mayhem, and conquest. As all things should be, of course. Uh, let's take a look at these planets. Do I need... See, this will provide amenities. We don't need that. We need food. Here... Uh, no, it has plenty of, of stuff.
The March of Prophets. I love this song, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it really caught my attention, and that's... Yeah, it's not entirely an easy thing to do. Huh. Alright, cool. I think you go there, I'm pretty sure you go there, that, that's, that sort of just seems right. Except it isn't, but eh, who cares? Um, I need to, I need to sort out these fleets and like make sure they have proper compositions. But I'll do that. I feel like I can do that when I can afford it. In that, that seems kind of like a little bit of a vanity project, and I would rather not focus on that. Given the choice, look at this. This has an extra Corvette. And, and it's, yeah, I think upgrading the, the navies is also something that I need to do very, very soon. Because if you take a look here, uh, actually it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I, I, I mean, sure, they're going to need new hyperdrives and stuff, but... Yeah, for the most part, they're, uh, they're, they're modern, so that's alright, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna run out of food in 12 months. No, we're not. We're about to receive a giant injection of food. Straight into the economy, as it were. I mean, this is just, this is just cruel at this point. We are punching them while they're down. I mean, bless them, they did try and put up a fight. Look at this. Built up all of these nice little defense platforms. They are going to dent the fleet a little bit. We, we might even lose a few ships, but... You should probably jump out, just, just saying. And just as the, there's, a, there's a glimmer of hope, in comes a full-on cruiser. <laughs> uh well... All of bombard damage reduced, all defense armies, yada yada yada. Not doing it for me, honestly. Not doing it for me. Research. It's kind of too late for that, if I'm honest with you. Uh, domination is not terrible. It's mostly like ruler caps, and alright, menial drone output is, is okay, but then deviancy reduced is like, well, meh. Uh, synchronicity, I don't know, doesn't seem all that terrific. Prosperity, though, yeah. Yeah, prosperity is good, but it's not that good. I'll go with prosperity, because a lot of this is based around surveying systems and, and all of that, and we're kind of past the point of surveys. Um, so I feel like that's, that's a great tree to go down, um, or a great path, or whatever you want to call it, to go down early on, but now, eh, not so much. Definitely gonna need a bunch of reinforcements for this thing soon, but oh, they have three planets here. That is highly blessed. Okay, I haven't even checked how well defended is this place. Not very is the answer to my question. Okay, are we done? So, we're gonna need a few more destroyers and a few more corvettes, but that's okay. Because we can afford them. Um, so, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably gonna keep that. I do need more anchorages. Definitely, definitely need more anchorages. Now, 
Because we're most likely going to keep this planet, I should check its habitability. Seventy percent. I'm going to assume that's seventy percent for... My species? Yes. Yes, that is 70% for my species. So this will not be Da Whatever's Rest. No, this is instead Planet 008. A shockingly creative name, I am aware. Starts with a bunch of population on it already. And we're good. And look, all of a sudden, food no longer as much of an issue. <laughs> okay, mind you, we are um, solving it a little bit... Um, uh, we're solving it in not the most sustainable way possible. Granted, granted, I never said that we're going to solve it in a, in a you know, eco-friendly and sustainable way, but, you know. Alright, this one I actually don't want to keep because it's only... 30% habitability continental world. Oh, that's, that's a bit weird as someone who plays human species like 99% of the time. Or robots! I really like robots in this game. Like, all sorts of robotic empires. They're, 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 they're great. Effectively, anything that doesn't use one or more of the resources and just focuses on the other three. I find the economy infinitely easier to balance that way, and... Well... It's not like this is a particularly difficult game to begin with, but, you know... When the economy is easier to manage... Life is easier to manage. For more words of wisdom, subscribe to my Patreon or something. I don't, actually. I, I don't post on Patreon. It purely exists as a money grab. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to draw people in to support you there. And uh, uh, Look, I've made it painfully obvious since the day I've created it. My Patreon exists only to just solicit money from viewers. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's it's the it's the lack of sleep that's that's doing this. But yeah, it's it's kind of genuine at the same time in that I don't lock away content, um, and I have no intention to. Um, I'm not going to post Patreon exclusive videos. I'm not going to give uh, Patreons like early access to videos or whatever. It's just a hassle. Um, you know, it's not like... It'll take more effort than anything to, like, make it so that they get the video first, right? It, it, they wouldn't be getting it first, you would be getting it later. Right? Or you being the, the majority here, right? Uh, so it's not like they're, they're getting, like, you know, a bonus. It's just, like, you're being punished. It's, there's a difference. Um, you know, if, if a video is supposed to come out on, like, the first of of the month, or like the 20th of the month or whatever, and I managed to somehow squeeze it in so it comes out two days earlier for Patreon. Great, but no. Um, if I can put it on Patreon in one day, I can put it on YouTube this is the very same day, and the fact that I don't would basically mean that I'm just doing it on purpose. Uh, which is not something that I want to do, ever, really. I have no interest in, in locking away any content or anything, so, yeah. There you go, long-winded and then roundabout way of saying... ...just that last sentence, I suppose. Uh, are you fighting someone? Yes, you are. You are fighting Empire of Val, which would explain why you have no fleet whatsoever, and would also explain why... Um, yeah, yeah, huh, oh, I'm sorry, it was another yawn, um, I 
I mean, they have 1,300 diplomatic weight. How much do I have? 875. Yeah. That explains it. Partially, kind of. Um, Alright, you know what? That's fine. That is fine, because this has been such a successful war that I am no longer worried about anything. Eh, how terrific is that, eh? No longer worried about anything. Uh, while you're doing that, I would like to grab some of the stuff from up here as well. And possibly that too. Mm, I'll think about it. Just look at the economy numbers, by the way. I uh, would, lo would love to draw your attention to that very quickly. So, we're not keeping this one, we're not keeping this one, we are keeping this one. Planet 009. Population. Two artisan drones. Seriously? Artisan drones, seriously? Get a spawning pool down. Uh, oh, do I have a spawning pool here? No, I don't. Spawning pool. Okay, these don't need spawning pools because I'm not keeping the planets because it's low habitability. Uh, you, you said that like five times. Yeah, I'm, I'm repeating for the sake of me remembering. I'm because <laughs> I forgot last time and that was very embarrassing. Okay, I mean, the planets are relatively okay. Otherwise, they just need, like, those few tiny little tweaks. Um, yeah, quantum theory. Jesus, my research is kind of... just slow. Yeah, oh well. Uh, tell you what, you're done here, I, there's, there's nothing else you can do. Why don't you be the sort of... The sort of hammer that I need for all these tiny little sectors that sectors and systems that I haven't subdued yet. A new colony has been propagated. Uh, ah yes, the colonies that uh, we had until oh so very recently. I, I know them well. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's pick up these two ships yeah, and then head this way. Man, these guys had a lot of territory under them. That's kind of sobering, honestly. Um, also, not gonna lie, a little bit surprising that I've survived as long as I have. Given just the sheer quantity of territory they had, and the number of planets too. Mind you, Lower, uh, lower uh, growth speeds and all that means that they might have colonized all of them some time ago and you know, might have colonized them before I've made my second or third planet. But it still takes quite a while for all the pops to grow and all the tech bonuses in the world are not enough. So, yeah. Oh, I, I should mention, I really should have mentioned this, like, at the start of the video, too. There is a new patch for the game. Uh, there is a new patch for the game which fixes a number of complaints I had about it. Some with the AI, some with the clerks, some with, like... Uh, I think this is the one where they changed the growth rates. Or they tweaked them a little bit. I think I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to be this one or the, or the next one. I haven't upgraded to it yet, though, because of the mods. I'm waiting for uh, the two or three mods that I have to update, and then I'll uh, 
I'll switch over to the new version. Um, let's keep going. Let's go down there instead. Because there's a combat capable fleet there. Alright, tell you what though, um, I think we've done incredibly well so far. We've basically risen from the ashes. Uh, we've somehow injected new life into a failing economy. And we're now doing somewhat acceptably okay. Uh, and even Empire Sprawl has been... Um, well, the penalty from Empire Sprawl has been reduced with the addition of the, the newly conquered planets here, so... Matter of fact, I'm going to keep these and just add a spawning pool there to uh, further the whole ordeal, right? And then, as our planets grow, our economy is going to grow stronger with them. It's all going to be wonderful. Naval capacity is still a little bit iffy, but uh, I think we're going to finally be able to start actually enjoying our existence and doing something worthwhile. Um, I think when we conquer about that much of the galaxy, uh, we're just we're done. We're, we're set forever. There is nothing that can challenge us. Um, so, yeah, I think... All things considered, I'm probably not going to go all the way to the end and become a crisis and finish the game. Um, because it's it's going to take too long and I don't think it's, we're going to have a reason to keep going after a certain point, right? Um, and I figure that's that's the point with with a lot of, uh, of the sort of late game cool tech and stuff, but... I'll talk about that a little bit in the next video and uh, how the, the pacing of uh, technology is kind of off and, and unintuitive. But anyways, that's that's for next time. Thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, down if you enjoyed the video. And we'll stay tuned with the rest of the series and the content I produce on the channel. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.